To get into context for what sort of domestic posts are being considered as important, many of the interests that are allied with consideration of the XL pipeline have their corporate headquarters in Houston, Texas. In Houston, the police pension system is called the Houston Police Officers Pension System. It goes by the acronym HPOPS. It also has a specific board structure, wherein half of the board members are elected by the organization's membership, while the other half are appointed by the mayor. Is this a sort of corollary to the concept of matching government funding for programming via the United States Agency for International Development with private equity, as was announced, were to be the aims of the United States International Development Finance Corporation in 2018 for implementation by the end of summer of 2019 regarding the United States Department of State-related functions abroad. A final consideration of this audit needs to take into account changes that were made in recent years to policies involving the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, including as announced via the Securities and Exchange Commission. On August 16, 2016, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission implemented new rules requiring security-based swap dealers and major security-based swap participants to provide trade acknowledgments and to verify those trade acknowledgments in security-based swap transactions. The Commission also is amending Rule 3A71.6 under the Exchange Act to address the potential availability of substituted compliance in connection with those trade acknowledgement verification requirements. Page 1. I'm stopping here. It's completely extortionate in your race-based automation murder scheme to sabotage my attempts to communicate information until you can put your fucking cover-up in. Every fucking time you violate an appropriate process by which to report so that you can say, oh, no, wait a second, uh -uh. no, you caught me, so I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to knock you off, and I'm going to fuck with you until I can insert myself as insurance. Do you provide the fucking cover-up for what I did? Every fucking time, all you've proven is that keeping you in your position allows for the automation chain to consistently murder that precisely. Anyway, according to, quote, B, cross-border application and availability of substituted compliance, end quote, quote, the Commission also proposed rules to establish a framework to permit market participants to satisfy certain requirements by complying with comparable regulatory requirements of a foreign jurisdiction. Among these was a proposed rule by which foreign security-based swap dealers registered with the Commission might satisfy requirements under Exchange Act Section 15F, other than dealer registration requirements by complying with the corresponding rules and regulations established in a foreign jurisdiction, end quote, pages 10 through 11. What sorts of compliance standards are being addressed in the foreign post being evaluated for the audit of the United States Department of State? If it is permissible for the United States Department of State to engage as a business entity in regards to its arrangements with other countries, then is it intentionally mischaracterizing data in a federally required system within the United States in order to use these sorts of substitution possibilities to engage in illegal hedging involving security matters in other countries. The audit reveals the potential to allow for a substitution of standards in other countries when it comes to confirmation on a transaction originating in the United States and making any non-compliance or default appear as if it were because of the standards applied or enforced in another country. For this reason, any domestic opportunism or meddling of or in connection with matters connected to or through the United States Department of State become even more concerning. That the primary domestic gas and oil consideration in the last decade has involved an interest explicitly included in what could be an inventory of United States Department of State reports on its operations calls into question other acts of domestic malfeasance and misappropriation. Civil penalties in lieu of criminal prosecution additionally become even more important for scrutiny. As presented, there is substantial evidence that the intent of the original dismissal 
of the United States Office of Comptroller of Currencies Audit of the United States Department of Energy regarding its uranium enrichment facilities in 1980 has indeed accrued with deliberate intent to create situations of default that can be leveraged in escalated risk scenarios that intend to subordinate vital safety and security to speculative opportunism from private sector entities. This was finished at 5.03 p.m. Central Standard Time on July 11, 2020. It is 6.49 a.m. Central Standard Time on Monday, July 13, 2020.